Samsung made some very important updates with the Tab S9, which make it meaningfully better than the Tab S8. But having said that, is the Tab S9 worth the price difference? Let's talk about it. So one of the biggest changes to the Tab S9 has to do with the display. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that the LCD display on the Tab S8 is really good for an LCD display, but there's no question here that the dynamic AMOLED 2X display on a Tab S9 is superior. So even though both have an 11 inch display and we're getting the same resolution, aspect ratio and pixel density, the Tab S9 has noticeably darker black levels, better color accuracy, better contrast and reduced blue light emission. It's also great that now you don't need to upgrade to a larger tablet like the Tab S9 Plus or the Ultra just to get the better display because the Tab S9 uses the same technology. Now, both the Tab S8 and 9 offer an adaptive 120 Hertz display, which gives you the choice between a static 60 Hertz or adaptive. And this is where the tablet automatically adjusts based on what you're doing to provide you with a smooth user experience and optimized battery life. Now, having both tablets side by side, I definitely prefer the Tab S9 when I'm watching content or playing games. It's not a huge difference if you're just surfing the web and working with productivity apps, but again, if you're watching movies, playing games, or doing anything like photo or video editing, you'll definitely notice a difference, especially when you're viewing darker scenes. Now, the Tab S9 also comes with Vision Booster, which automatically detects bright lighting conditions, like when you go outside, and it keeps the screen brighter and easier to see. Now, as far as the overall size and shape of the tablets, there are only a few updates, but with some very important implications. Both tablets have the same footprint, but the Tab S9 is thinner. Looking around the edges, we're getting a USB-C port for charging and connecting accessories. There's a micro SD card slot, which allows us to expand the internal storage by up to one terabyte. And we can use that storage for photos, for files, and for most apps. Now we'll talk more about performance in a bit, but in my experience, apps and games continue to be responsive and work well when they're loaded from the micro SD card. Now next to the volume up and down controls on both tablets, you'll see a power button, but the one on the Tab S8 includes a fingerprint sensor, which is used for biometric authentication. With the Tab S9, we're getting an under display fingerprint sensor, just like we have with the larger tablets in this series. Now both options work well, but I prefer the under display sensor on the Tab S9 because it's more convenient for how I hold my tablet. On the back, we're seeing another difference. So the Tab S9 comes with a single camera versus dual cameras on the Tab S8. The camera module on the Tab S9 is also wider than the one on the Tab S8, and the single lens changes the location of the area that's used to charge the S Pen. And this means that you can't use the same keyboard cases that you used for the Tab S8. And I'll talk more about this in the accessories section. Now, another major advantage of the Tab S9 has to do with durability. We're now getting an IP68 rating, so we have protection from water and dust. Now, obviously this is important if you take your tablet with you when you travel or if you use it outside a lot, but even around the house, it's super nice to have additional protection from accidental spills. Now, looking around the edges, we're getting four AKG2 speakers with Dolby Atmos support on both tablets, but the speakers on the Tab S9 are 20% larger and they offer slightly fuller and richer audio. But the reality is that most of the time I use headphones because I want better audio quality, I don't need everyone hearing the video or the game that I'm playing, and I want to be able to block outside noise so I get a more immersive experience. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Soundcore by Anchor and the new Space One headphones. They have very powerful noise reduction, which specifically targets mid to high frequencies and helps dramatically reduce voices around you. The Space One headphones also have adaptive noise cancellation, which automatically detects external noises, makes adjustments in real time, and this is great if you're on a plane or during your commute. They look super clean, they have an eight degree floating axis design where the ear cups can rotate in either direction, so they're extremely comfortable to wear even after hours of use. The 40 millimeter dynamic drivers sound crisp, we're getting LDAC support for high res audio, and these are rated for 40 hours of use with noise cancellation on, 55 hours of 
use when it's off. And just a five minute charge will give you four hours of playback. So click the link in the description to check out the Soundcore Space One. And thank you to Soundcore for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the tablets and the available accessories. Both models come with a Bluetooth enabled S Pen, which is great for taking handwritten notes, for marking up documents, and for drawing. But with the Tab S9, we're getting IP68 rating for the S Pen and a lower latency at 2.8 milliseconds. When we look at keyboard cases, Samsung offers two options for each tablet. The original book cover keyboard, which has a full row of function keys, a trackpad, multiple viewing angles, and the ability to separate the back from the keyboard for when you just need a stand or when you want to use the tablet in tablet mode. Again, I want to remind you that because of the changes to the camera module and the charging strip, you cannot use the Tab S8 book cover keyboard with the Tab S9. You'll need to get the dedicated version. The newer version also has a clear S Pen cover so you can see whether the S Pen is being stored. Now, the second keyboard option is the book cover keyboard slim, which has a smaller footprint, it doesn't have a trackpad, and it stores the S Pen in the fold so it's not being charged during transport. Now keep in mind that the S Pen doesn't need to be charged in order to work as a stylus. It's only for the Bluetooth functions like camera and multimedia controls. Now looking at the camera modules, the Tab S8 comes with a 13 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. The Tab S9 dropped the ultra wide camera and only has a 13 megapixel main camera. Now both models come with a 12 megapixel front facing camera and here's a quick sample. This is a test of the camera and microphone on the Tab S9 and the Tab S8. This should give you a pretty good idea of the type of image quality that you're going to get and the type of audio quality that you should expect. Now, another important update with the newer model is the move from the Snapdragon 8 1 chip to the newer, more powerful, and more efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip for Galaxy. If you're interested in benchmarks, you'll see improved single and multi-core performance with the Tab S9, as well as an upgrade in GPU performance. Whether you'll actually notice this in your day-to-day -day use, really comes down to what you do with your tablet. If you're a fairly basic user and you're surfing the web, you're using various productivity apps and you're watching content, you're not really going to notice a difference. But if you're someone who pushes their tablet with more demanding tasks, then there is no question that the new chip is a better option. And in either case, having additional headroom in terms of performance gives a Tab S9 the edge in terms of longevity. Another important advantage of the newer chip is efficiency. And on top of that, the Tab S9 comes with an 8,400 milliamp per hour battery versus 8,000 on the Tab S8. Whether you're multitasking, editing videos, or playing games, you'll definitely notice improved battery life with the new model, and I'm working on a new battery drain test for the whole Tab S9 series. When it comes to charging, both tablets offer super fast charging at 45 watts, but you'll need to buy a charger separately. Going back to multitasking, both tablets run Android 13 and the latest One UI, so you're getting all the latest features like three tiled apps, pop-up windows, and of course, Dex, which is awesome. Like essentially, it reboots the tablet and gives you an operating system that's very similar to what you have on a desktop. You're getting a taskbar, a desktop with icon, multiple windows, you can snap windows, and you can use a keyboard case to transform your tablet to more of a laptop replacement. You can also connect an external display, keyboard, and mouse, and run a super capable dual display setup. One other great option is to use either tablet as an additional display for your laptop or desktop with Samsung's second screen. And this is a super handy feature when you travel. Now, even though both tablets have the same features, the Tab S9 will give you an additional year of OS and security updates. So keep that in mind when you make your decision. As far as gaming, both tablets have been great. Now, this size tablet is super comfortable to hold even if you have smaller hands, and the 120 hertz display is very responsive. Ultimately, I'm going to give the edge to the Tab S9 because we're getting a nicer display, a more powerful and more efficient chip, as well as better cooling and battery life. So it'll be a better gaming option, especially as games continue to evolve and demand more resources. Having said that, I've had no problems playing PUBG or Genshin Impact on both devices. You can also connect an Xbox controller to both tablets, 
launch the Xbox Game Pass app, and then stream games, at which point the tablets are essentially the same, but we're still getting a nicer display on the Tab S9. And when we look at configuration options, both are available with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and eight gigs of RAM, or 256 and 16. And check out the links in the description for any current specials and discounts. Like sometimes you get a free keyboard case, sometimes there's a free upgrade and storage. You could definitely find discounted rates for the Tab S8, and those links are automatically updated. There is no question that the Tab S9 is a better tablet with a new display, IP68 protection for the tablet and S Pen, a more powerful and efficient chip, and a larger battery. The Tab S8 remains a very good option if you already own one, but I would pretty much only consider buying one now if you can get it at a significant discount. Now you should check out this comparison. Hopefully this video was helpful. Click on my face to subscribe. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.